A safety hazard after the storm. Dozens of derelict and abandoned boats clogging up local waterways. But as News 6 reporter James Parvero explains, Brevard County officials are working to get results and clear out the mess. At Kelly Park in Merritt Island, a 25-foot cabin cruiser is the latest derelict boat removed from Brevard waters. The county using an excavator on a barge to pick up an abandoned eyesore. That's really not the impression we want to give tourists. For 12 years, Matt Culver has been in charge of removing hundreds of boats like these with limited funding. Culver picks which boats will be removed based on how hazardous they are to the environment and the public. Why is this an issue every hurricane season? Is it funding? Is it boaters themselves too? It's actually a combination. First off, it's the boaters' responsibilities. When there's a storm coming through, the boaters need to make sure that their vessels are anchored securely. Once the law enforcement reporting is done and then the securing of the grants is done, it could be a year before a boat is removed. And I'm glad no one's on it and everybody's safe. This tourist from Michigan pulled over off the 528 because she wanted to take pictures of this boat. The county says this one won't be removed before hurricane season. I wouldn't call it an eyesore, more of a train wreck. Do you get frustrated when it feels like this is your job that never ends? It's unfortunately been a never ending process. I work to remove say 30 boats in a year. We start to see the waterways clear up and then a hurricane comes through and next thing you know I end up with 50 boats or more scattered throughout the lagoons. In Merritt Island, Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero getting results news 6.